we want to begin with Roxana Saberi in Michigan. Roxana, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. As daylight breaks here, the scope of the damage is becoming clear. Folks here tell us they haven't had a tornado here in decades, and last night they had two. Still, officials here tell us despite this devastation, like what you see behind me at the strip mall, there have been no deaths or serious injuries reported so far. Can't quite believe what I'm seeing. This FedEx facility in Portage is the latest reminder of a string of tornadoes this week that has devastated communities from Oklahoma to Michigan. FedEx told CBS News there were no serious injuries and that all employees were accounted for. In this city, halfway between Chicago and Detroit, two confirmed tornadoes in the span of 90 minutes Tuesday evening caused extensive damage, including at the strip mall. Literally, you can see straight through Pizza Hut. Nearby, Isaiah Erickson told us he rode out the storm in his basement and that when he emerged, most of his belongings were gone. Your house being there one second and then the next thing you know, it's just you can't live there anymore. Are you okay? Is your family okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My mom's fine. Um, everyone that I know and love is fine, so that's the good news. Officials here agree residents were lucky. We've got no fatalities and no known serious injuries. Um, it's incredible. It certainly makes you think that somebody's watching out for us. Dude. Elsewhere across the Midwest, traces of a tornado were spotted in western Ohio, while another two marched across near Milroy, east of Indianapolis. At this Pizza Hut behind me, the roof was completely ripped off and inside pretty much everything was destroyed. The local police chief told us it could take months for this city to recover and that he plans to send crews door to door this morning to make sure nobody was trapped in the rubble last night. Our colleague Dave Malkoff is in Oklahoma with a look at the damage from multiple tornadoes there.